Ladies and gents, this is probably the fourth or fifth attempt at the first episode of Low Elo Legends, but I've had a lot of requests from people over the over the months asking for Low Elo casts. And I know that in the past there was this StarCraft uh, content creator on YouTube named Wolfie, was it? I didn't watch, but people told me there was something called Bronze League Heroes, which I believe a guy named Winter in the StarCraft community continued. But anyways, um, I didn't want to steal that name, and I decided to go with Low Elo Legends, and we'll also call it Amazing Learn, because Amazing Learn is what kind of piqued my interest in casting some low-level games. In the blue, we have A.S. Falcon. He's playing as the Cummins. Shame. And in the red, we have Lord Luke 13. He is playing as the Turks. And according to my, my detectives... They are both below 1,000 ELO on Age of Empires 2 DE. Um, now, it's worth pointing out because I'm beginning to see some questionable things. We have to have a fine mix of laughing and teaching. We laugh and we teach. And if there's sarcasm, I will follow that up with some instructional knowledge, okay? So... If your name is Lord Luke and you're just looking to chill out later tonight and watch a YouTube video and you end up stumbling upon my channel and you see this cast, I'm not making fun of you. We're learning from your mistakes. Okay. First off, I swear this is going to be a common theme. I don't think that Lord Luke knows build orders because he is doing the straggler tree thing, which all the lower rated players seem to do. Wait, lumber camp? Ah, oh, nice. He was just saving this wood for later. That's what it is. Okay. Saving that wood for later. I like the lumber camp. What about blue? Okay, blue, also building a lumber camp. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. The map is Gold Rush, by the way. And there's seven tiles of gold for each player on Gold Rush. You'll see four tiles here, three tiles there. And then there's four and three. Um, the rest of the gold is in the center. So I'm really curious to see what these guys do to get to the gold. Oh, oh, they're going to lure in elephants. And he's even blocking the elephant. Uh -huh. This guy's not a noob. Okay, he didn't block the elephant, actually. This could be trouble. I hope he knows how to garrison his vill. Otherwise, that villager is ripperoni. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Garrison. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Elephants are vicious creatures. And they do not like it when you shoot arrows at their their tusks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is... Where is the... No food underneath the TC at Red's base. Well, Red decided it would be a good idea to scout everywhere but his base to look for his goats. Okay. Realizes he doesn't have food for underneath his TC and says, Eh, hey, who cares? I'm just going to leave this place, and maybe my goats spawned in the north. Yeah, maybe maybe my goats spawned at the very north of the map, because that's where I would go if I'm a goat. <laughs> He's the lord. We can't really judge him. Okay. We. Oh, whoa, elephant. All right. Amrin? So his goats are back here. You should You should look. You should always go in a circle around your base. So this is a, a gaping hole in his scouting. At least he's creating vills at all times. Um, I don't get the whole straggler tree thing. I really don't. He also doesn't know where his rhino is. <gasps> Wait. Defend him. Wait. Oh, going to gold now. Oh, God. All right. All right. So here's another thing. Going to gold when you're at 17 pop and you barely have the food to go to feudal age is not a good time, okay? So there's a reason all of these problems are solved with build orders. All of these problems, okay? And if you're having problems in feudal age, likely you had problems in dark age, right? Um, Blue brought in his rhino, by the way. And his build seems to be more... This seems to make a little bit more sense. Everything's a little... All right, that's a weird second lumber camp, but we're not going to judge him. He just really wants to chop those three trees. It wouldn't make sense to build a lumber camp in this little Solid. gap that would be perfect for chopping wood. Um, 
Red is, is he back to his, oh, he's back to his base now, okay. I think he's probably just realized, he got excited. He got excited and he really wanted to find uh, his enemy and then couldn't find him. Now he sees the rhino. Now rhinos and elephants attack faster than boars do. So I think you would need loom before bringing this down the hill. I was actually scared to play ranked to not get placed below 1k elo, but now I know I'm safe now. Thank you, T90. The other thing is, people look a lot more noob when I'm casting them. I feel like you don't realize how many flaws are in your game until someone's watching it. Okay, now he's scouting the edge of the map. Did Blue find him? Why are they scouting here? <laughs> understand okay so blue saw this three tile gold that should be an indicator that red is nearby they're taking the same path and where's he going now is he going to the southern corner no way what is it they have with the corners of the map he sees hills, he sees all these areas where there won't be an enemy TC, and he says, yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Alright, Blue has had a better build order, but guys, his TC is idle, so remember this meme. This will guide you home. If you're attacking someone and you're killing villagers, but you've had an idle TC, you're going to be behind in vills. In this case, Blue is three villagers behind, he hasn't killed anything. But this meme describes the situation almost perfectly. However, blue is on the way to feudal. And honestly, it wasn't ideal getting here. Um, but he's building a barracks. His eco seems reasonably balanced. Um, Red has decided to mill the zebra. I don't think that's a bad move. And he's farming a lot. I See, I don't think this is awful from here either. They seem to realize I have a lot of wood. I need to farm. Defend him. I should build a mill on the zebra. This is good. I like that. A lot of players would not do this. Oh, the moon's... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I... I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I removed it. Um. Azir. Hey, listen. This wouldn't be low elo legends without some low elo casting, so... And now I guess... That this is a fast castle attempt for red? God, dude. Why are you... What is this zigzaggity zag zig? And why are we scouting corners of maps? I don't understand the scouting. It really... <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, was he challenged to draw a picture on the mini-map? I'm not sure what that resembles. It's really important to scout your opponent, because otherwise you're blind to the fact that Blue is going to be making scouts, and Red has no flipping clue because he's not at his opponent's base right now. Whoa! That is a forward barracks! We are going to be aggressive, boys. Don't build the barracks at home, which is close to all of your economy, in case you need spearmen. Build, build that barracks forward. On the hill, okay. I think Vazmedi is right. He says, this is what happens when your eco takes too much of your APM to control your scout very often. Indeed, indeed. Him. You're right. You're definitely right. Him. Okay, Luke is in the feudal age. He's Turks, by the way. Oh, wow, he instantly queues up Wheelbarrow. I disagree with that. I think it'd be better to just build your Blacksmith and your Archer range and go up to the next stage. Oh, Blue is building a second town center with Cummins. All right, and he's only created one extra scout. Let's look at his scouting. Oh, wait, did he... Did he lose a scout? Oh, he did lose a scout, didn't he? To Red's TC. So he zigzagged right to Red's base. Alright, well the Cummins are nerfed now, and I take the blame. I've uploaded enough videos with Cummins being strong that people probably want to try them out. This guy probably watches my YouTube channel. That's my fault, and I'm sorry. 
Oh, 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 I was drinking, I was drinking some of my drink. Oh, Red's found blue. Oh, the immediate reaction. Wait, did he react or did he just set waypoints all over the map? And he just doesn't notice. Oh, he set a waypoint, I could see it. Blue? What are you doing? All right, so check this out for a second. Gotta know the save you're playing as, it really helps. Cavalry's 5% faster starting in each age. So he's in feudal age. He could have attacked that. Or at least followed it. But maybe he decided to come back home because he wants to feel nice and safe. It is a problem because they can't control everything at once. So they figured they'd just lose track of the scouts. I think that's a lot of it. Um, Red is on the way to castle age though. And he's making spearmen... So what you'll see at low levels is huge overreactions to stuff. So you see two scouts and you make 10 spearmen. That's that's low elo reaction. Now, <laughs> there's lions out here. I would love to see Red try and send Vils here. Well, Blue also has the armor on the scouts. Let's see if Blue knows how to use the scouts, though. This is the problem with building your production building so far away from your base. Okay, Red's making the spears and not doing anything with them. Oh god. Oh god. Actually, his attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lord Luke. Luke, I am your father. Get out of here. Run. 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 Bring the spears. Oh no. He's panicked. He's panicked. But it it's fine. It's Enrin. honestly fine. Villagers are not important. Enrin. Villagers are not important to your economy at all. Okay? So, now Enrin. he's in Castle Age, though. Enrin. Think about this. Now he's in Castle Age. Blue has been, well, idling both of his town centers. But he has the potential to create villas out of both TCs. Instead, he's creating five out of one and zero out of the other. All right. Um... Is he going to castle drop the center? Defend him. Does he know the map? And does Defend he want to castle drop the Defend center? Him. Defend him. Is blue creating fills out of this TC yet? No, he's not. Still five out of this TC and zero out of this TC. Now he's making archers. Archer ranges. Okay. Okay, now I don't want red to lose any fills to the wolves or the, the lions because he's so far behind. Evet. But that is part of this map. Zach Lowe, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. Okay, 650 stone for the castle, Red. Let's go. Let's go. He's also not creating bills out of his TC. You can see this is a problem, okay? Oh, now blue is, but he's housed. <laughs> Alright, so he's building a bunch of houses. Here we go. If this was a high level game, this game would be way well over. There'd be no chance for it. But it's low elo legend time. And Lord Luke is going to the middle, boys. He wants to castle there. Now, I would like the hill instead. Okay, he should see the lions are there and know to avoid them. Hazuj. Hazuj. Here he goes. We got... <clears throat> Simba and Mufasa over here Defend attacking him. this dude. Defend him! Defend him! Defend him! Defend him! Quickly! All right. I mean, it's not the worst castle ever. It's not. And Blue still is not on his way to Castle Age. Blue might have double the amount of villagers, but villagers aren't important. They are important, but villagers aren't important. I like the logic from Red to take control of the center. The problem is he has no military to protect his eco. So if Red or Blue were to send anything, even scouts, it'd be game over. Okay, by a show of ones in the chat, how many people think Blue might freak out when he sees the castles up in the center? And just, instead of going to Red's base where he knows Red is exposed, he'll just turtle up and hide. I have a feeling he's going to be like... <gasps> Oh no! 
<laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> He's also going to run right past that too. He won't even scout it? No, 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 no. If he goes to Red's base, he'll scout it. I don't know when he's going to do it, though. He's getting freaking armor for the scouts he doesn't have. Like, seriously, dude, if you don't get that armor upgrade, you have the food to go Castle Age, and then you're, you're good. Okay, Red's creating out of this TC. He's building another town center here. Now, I think Red making Janissaries is a good idea. I think Janissaries is very hard to deal with. Also, it makes use of the forward castle. I would really like to see red scout. Even if you're... like, Who cares if you lose the light cap? You could just send the scout into your blue's base and let it die if you want to. Just to see what blue has. <laughs> Alright, blue. Do you want the castle or do you want the lions? Just passing, just passing, just passing, just passing. Just... Is he not... Oh, he sees it. Oh, and he... Did he patrol? Oh, God. Oh, God. He patrolled into a castle, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. And now he's running into the lions. Oh, God. <laughs> There's more lions. <laughs> oh, the cow archers. Let's go. I like how he got armor and not attack because attack's not important. <laughs> Blue, listen. Just <laughs> just cut your losses and take him to Red's base. That's the best thing you can do. Take him to Red's base. Oh my god. The lions! They'll attack Red's cav archers now. This is why you got defense upgrades. That's why you get defense upgrades for cav archers. Because of the lions. I get it now. All right, well, in Red's defense, he might have got that defense upgrade because it applies to his, uh, his Janissaries. Wow. That was a roller coaster of emotions. <clears throat> Blue is on the way to Castle, by the way. His economy is way better, but can he, can he win without gold in the center? Oh, my goodness. How much... How sad do you think Blue is going to be? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> if he loses this game and then goes to YouTube tonight. Oh my goodness. This is where the guilt of a caster starts to set in. But again, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at a game you participated in. And yeah, that's just, that's just, that's different, right? That's different. Both of them have things they can improve upon. Blue... His eco is definitely better. So I have faith in the guy. And now he's building his own castle. Okay. With this economy, just go imp. Honestly, just upon... You could just save your resources and go imp. I'm not saying that's what I would do, but at this level, why not? And just tread it down then. Please, baby Jesus, never let T90 cast one of my games. That's actually a perk of subscribing to me on Twitch. You, you uh, are whitelisted from getting cast. <clears throat> A.S. Falcon showed up to my Twitch chat once and said that he just wanted free entertainment and that he would never subscribe to me, and then here we are. So, that's that's how you avoid getting cast. Oh, blacklist, I'm sorry. Whitelist, blacklist, purple list, whatever. Same difference. Looks like some people are going on getting taken off my blacklist, chat. I'm kidding. Okay, I like I like this strategy. So Red realizes that his opponent Oh boy, hold on. Oh god. Okay, Red. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. But you know what? That's not bad. He didn't just lose his whole army, but but oh <laughs> he wants to stop the castle! Hold on, I can't even make a joke about a light cav attacking a house because of what's happening here. Red's cav archers are going to die. Or, yeah, eventually they'll die. And Blue's castle has been denied. I was going to say, I like Red's strategy to try and house Blue. If you pop cap him, then he can't create more military. That's that's 300 IQ right there. Don't attack villagers with the light cav. Yeah, what? But instead, attack the house, and eventually he won't be able to create anything more. 
So Janissaries have eight range. They're actually right. really good, but step lancers and crossbows and kip checks and <clears throat> everything that is being made right now by blue is all product of his economy. And with economy, you can beat better units at... Whoa! But guys, Lord Luke is coming back in economy. He's only at 51 bills and blue is at 61. I'm not convinced Step Lancers and all of this can work underneath Castle Fire, but Red decides to not use the cover fire of his castle and instead fight and die on the hill. Is Lord Luke going to come back in this game? Is he coming back? Red's not producing out of all of his town centers. I don't understand why he's making cab archers and also janissaries. <clears throat> Mikumans are a really strong sieve, we know that. Oh, oh, the micro, the micro, let's go! Hey, Alexi. Alright, I think this is decided by him. Who has the most farmers? 24 farmers for blue, 19 farmers for red. I think this is decided by him. If red can make a second castle here and go in first, he can make bomber cannons and trebs to push blue out of the middle. Blue is producing an awful lot of units within Castle Age instead of probably saving gold and going to the Imperial Age. He is losing houses, though. That's very important. Again, I mean, if this continues on for a long time, Blue will not have pop space. Maybe the strategy is to use the Light Cav to attack the houses, then get Cav Archers to raid the wood lines. Then Blue doesn't have the resources to produce any more houses. And then BOOM! GG. Oh wow, he's getting Sipahi, which will get- oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, Sipahi gives Turk Cav Archers extra HP. Guys, in this situation, getting that upgrade, which is pretty expensive, is not going to help Red's situation. He's not even able to push a real area with his, his army. So, investing that much into the tech doesn't make sense now. It would make a whole lot more sense to just go Imperial. And it's kind of the same for Blue. Oh no, but Blue wants to ram rush it! Again, I think it would make more sense to save gold and not make the rams and then make trebs and then you, you easily push this, but instead he's making rams. Luca Sana, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. I hope my audience right- Oh! It's the strategy! It's the attack house raid woodline strategy! Boom! Okay. There we go. Boom! And this will distract Blue from the middle, too. Nice play, L Lord Luke. There's another lion. Nice. Okay, now what I would do is I would run. You already got some damage in. You know Blue's probably going to come to you, so run. Oh! Oh! The Blue's not going to come deal with that. Blue's going to ram rush the center. Okay, I mean, there's no Mackinals behind here to kill the Rams. Blue is going to... Is Red going to panic? He's attacking the house. This looks like a, a panic. Red could easily still win this game. But not if he panics like that. I think he would need to just give it up. Oh, God. Make some siege behind, give it up, and just castle on top. Like, oh, my God, that's his imp TC. No. No. Lord Luke, why? Of all the places... To click up to the Imperial Age? Why did you pick this one? <sighs> His castle will crumble. His town center is surely next. Now he's housed. Meanwhile, he lost all of his cav archers. No, Lord. Okay, what will he... Let's assume he gets to Imp. What will he do? Hey, there's another castle! He's kind of... He doesn't build it on the hill. I still think he could comfortably build it on the hill. 
Oh god, this TC could go down. Whoo, boy, this has been wild, man. But guys, can we please salute these two? Because eventually they're going to see this. And I'm pretty sure, like, Luke is going to be... There's going to be a little bit of embarrassment, all right? I mean, he probably knows that you shouldn't fight against Castle Fire and Skirm Fire with Cav Archers, but he's doing it anyway. He'll be embarrassed. He didn't know that people would watch. But this has been a really close game. What I think that Lord Luke should do is he should go for Hussar. Your opponent has Elite Skirm. He's countering you right now. You get free Hussar as Turks. Free like Kevin Castle, free Hussar and Imp. So make stables, use all that food, and instead of upgrading Cav Archers, Defending. go Hussar. However, I recognize that lower rated players are not very good with tech switches. Now what Blue should do is he, he should go to Imp as well, and he's actually queued up Imp right after that Vill. And I believe Red just microed that one and only Hussar, which has been attacking the houses this whole game, which is hilarious. Imagine if you were to just send that to the woodline. When Blue gets to Imp, I think that Skirmisher is fine. I would probably go Stir Skirm and uh, Step Lancer. Okay, he's building a castle here. Now, why is this a bad idea, chat? Why is this a bad idea? You still see Red has a town center there. You don't know what's going on. For all you know, Red could have a castle on the hill, and he could be making trebuchets. So it's probably not wise to build your castle there until you're take your time, sure boy. it's secure. You gotta feel secure before I make you mine, baby. You have to be sure you wanna be my lover. Wanna but yeah, full hussar. Red has to be using his his uh. He's not using his advantages right now. He, he hit imp. If he had full Hussar raiding, you could even make bear uh, stables down here and raid. He's not using his advantage. Oh, is there an echo? I can fix that, sorry. Okay, well the castle goes up. Red, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up! Luke! Luke! What are you- No! Oh, God, Luke. Why? Alright, well, now he has a treb. Blue has just done a really good job at producing stuff. Red has just picked one or two units. It seems like Red had set in his mind Genisri and Cav Archer, and he's never going to deviate from that. Blue is doing a better job of making a mix of everything, and I'm pretty sure he will lose units in the process here, but he'll just take the Treb out with his Kipchaks and with his Skirms. And I think that's probably it, then. Because Blue will, will ram this, this castle down. Luke is not really doing anything right now. He lost his Magic Hussar. And... It's just, a, it's a bit of a shame that Luke didn't think to use all that food and go for Hussar. He got upgrades on, on his, uh, on his units, but... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh! Comeback time. <laughs> he really likes to pressure this area. Comeback time. Shh! Lions are disrupting castle drops everywhere. Blue is expecting a castle in the center. He's already seen that before. But what he's not expecting is a castle on the wood line. All right, that's a great time to finish that TC. That castle is going down whether he likes it or not. Oh man, he could make so many hussars with that food. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Shh. Oh! Amarin? In your face, Lumberjack. In your face. Does Blue not have Loom? What? Blue hasn't had Loom this entire game? Evet. Blue has not had Loom this entire game, and I didn't even realize. Alright, well, tip for you, Blue, is just research Loom. 
You know what it is? That's why Red what? probably lost all of his cav archers. He was too tempted to attack the unloomed villagers. <laughs> it's a waste of gold. He's saving resources. Yeah, hey, I mean, he didn't have the middle. What if he gets loomed now because he has control of the gold? Alright. I, I don't think this is... I don't think it's possible for Red to come back. But Blue is distracted and he's sending all of his kipjacks back. And the castle goes up. Garrison, Red, hide your vills. Blue, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't throw this. Treadmill crane for Lord. <laughs> He's getting treadmill crane. Treadmill crane means you can build faster. He wants to make sure this next castle goes up extra fast. Okay, he's making a siege workshop. Nah, the trebs from blue come right back. Alright. Treadmill crane. Castle's already going down. What's he making here? Some rams. What's that gonna do for you? Oh, oh, here's the raid. Here's the raid. Oh, wait, is he making hussars now? Oh, now he's making Hussars. Okay, so zero Hussars for 50 minutes, but then you go from zero Hussars to 50 Hussars. All right. Hey, Blue doesn't have Loom. This could do some real damage. He's ramming down the houses. I love it. I love how he's ramming down the houses. Sneak into the back, Red. Sneak into the back. They're both sharing gold right now. And the, the big population difference is really that Blue has Skirms, which are countered by Hussar. Oh, did Blue get Loom now? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, time to get Loom. Castle drop in my base. Hussars, time to get Loom. Guys, Red could win this game. Now, don't attack the Kip Checks. Just attack the Vils. Oh, boy. And, and now you need Hussars in the center, but... Blue has so many resources he could use. He could go Cavalier. He could go... Do Koomans get Paladin? I don't know. They could go Camel. He could go Step Lancer. Oh, oh, the Vils. The Vils. The Vils. The Vils. Hide the Vils, Luke. Hide the Vils. What am I watching? What am I watching? The Hussars will destroy the Skirms. Blue has 50 idle villagers. Sneaky Stable from Lord Luke! Let's go! Sneaky Stable! Another Sneaky Stable! Blue, use your resources, dude! Make Step Lancers, make Camels, make anything but Skirms and Rams right now. Anything but Skirms and Rams. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh, the stable was denied at 94%. Alright, there's a Hussar coming out of this one, though. There's a- oh, there's a Hussar raiding there. Oh, no, Blue. Oh, no! Luke is about to take the population lead! What a swing! It all started with the sneaky castle! This is Low Elo Legends Episode 1, for sure. There's no way that this cannot be an episode of Low Elo Legends. Is it? Red still has a sneaky villager there. Oh, wait. Oh, the villager's taking the hits. The villager's taking the hits for the Hussar. Oh, oh, will she survive? She survives! Run! Run with her! Run! Now he's more focused on the center now. Dude, look what the Hussars have done! They're everywhere! Okay, the villager dies, but who cares? I can't believe it. All Blue is producing now is Pikemen. He has 5,000 gold, 3,000 food. He just couldn't... He just didn't have the presence of mind to, to make anything else. He just froze up. The raids... The raids have just kept him on the back foot for so long. Wow. Guys, Blue could build two wonders right now. Let that sink in for a second. In fact, if you were to buy 700 stone 
He could build three wonders. He could still come back with his resources, but the problem is he's he's not making... You should be making step lancers or camels or cavalier. Any mobile stable unit because you have a lot of food and gold and he's not doing it. Wow, I can't believe this. Blue has 83 pop. Now, here's a question for you. Is his situation worse than Red's was when we thought Red was dead? No, it's not. His situation is better than Red's situation when we thought Red was dead. So Blue could actually come back. If Red could come back, Blue could come back. And now he's building barracks. All right, so wow, that is... All right, so I'm thinking maybe Helbs? He's definitely teching into Helb. He's going halb and skirm. It bothers me that he's going halb and skirm. Go gold units are always better than trash units, guys. Imagine if you went kip check, if you went kip check, and cavalier with these resources. Hussar would have no chance or camel. Just so my point is, there's definitely an opportunity for blue to come back. Both players have some of the center. A red is making janissary right now. We didn't think Red was dead. You thought he was dead? I always believed. Well, I found him. you have a lot more faith in humanity than I do. That's for sure. Okay, the sneaky stable's still here. Not producing, though. Let's check the economies. What's it look like? Well, they both have gold. They're just sharing the gold. Blue casually building a TC while Red has a treb attacking his castle. Okay. Well, I would like to see Red go with Cav Archers again with these resources. Hussars and Cav Archer would be really good here. More Hussars raiding, more Hussars killing Vils. These Trebs have been sitting here for half the game. That castle will... I mean, at this rate it's going to go down, but I have a feeling it will stay up. The Skirms are a really good choice against Janissaries, so don't ask me why Red decided to make Janissaries. <laughs> is this about to be a reverse throw? Wait, is Blue getting a gold unit upgrade? He's going for elite kip checks! He's going for elite kip checks! Finally, he's using his gold! Is it too late though? The Hussars arrive. He could start losing his gold control in the center. He's already at... He has three vills on wood. Wow. Wow. The winged hussars have arrived. Just take that castle out, Red. That'd be good for you. And now low numbers of... I don't think low numbers of Kipchaks are going to be all that successful. You need to wait till you have a group of them. It's just full panic mode, and that castle will go down. GG! Lord Luke did it! Lord Luke did it! Against all odds! He did it! How did that happen, man? Oh my goodness. He imped with his forward middle TC as his castle was going down. He went for a sneaky castle drop on Blue's wood line and then some sneaky stables. And that's what did it. <clears throat> that's what did it. So, guys, what happened before Red placed that castle? Blue had full control. He had full resources. All he needed to do was put his foot on the gas, spend them, and win. However, what happened was <clears throat> he took his good old time. And then what happened, he was probably in the, in the um, <clears throat> middle of a transition to go imp and push. Actually, I uh, take that back. He was trebbing red and ramming red in the center. But red attacked blue. And it made blue overreact a little bit. So blue said, hmm, all right. Well, I have to use all my focus now to deal with this castle. So let's do that. He does that. Then, oh, wait, there are these two bi villagers building stables. Oh, I have to focus on that, too. So he put all of his focus here, and then as he was doing that, 
the winged hussars arrived on the other side, and Red just kept pushing and pushing and sending in wave after wave after wave. What a game. What a game. We learned what not to do. We learned what to do. And most importantly, we had a very good low ELO Legends match. This will be a playlist for sure. Um, 276 kills for Lord Luke. He had uh, less gold than A.S. Falcon. He had more food collected, and it was the Hussars that changed it for him. Technology stats. Um, that's that's interesting. Uh, good research is from both of them. I felt like the uptime... Look at the uptime difference. Oh, Luke. It was in Castle Age so much faster, but it really it was because Blue was on two TCs. <clears throat> wow. How many people in my chat found that was kind of relatable? Anyone? <laughs> also, does this make any sense? Someone explain this timeline to me. <laughs> Red had less eco and way less military. But somehow it goes up. I just don't... That's a head-scratcher right there. <laughs> like, any other time you see this, Blue wins right here, and the GG's called. But he just didn't push. Tilted Skirm says, to be honest, they're they're both much better than me. I'm not saying they're bad players. I'm just saying they're, they're probably... Even calling this low elo might be a disservice to how good they are, because they're pretty solid. It takes time to get as good as they are there, but... Um, Still, I felt like there was a lot of lessons to learn. <clears throat> to be fair, this is what a regular AoE2 match looks like. I mean, regular AoE2 match, yes. One that we see frequently, no, because we're normally focusing on the pro scene. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that was fun. The plan for this... Well, right now, what I've been doing is I've just been finding live games. I feel like it's so much more natural. If I find a live game, then people don't know that I'm watching... And then they don't get nervous, and they, they play as they normally would. Um, I do get a ton of emails from people with their own games, and I can't say that I can really take that. But we'll see where this goes in the future. All I know is this will be on YouTube, and it will be in a playlist.